be at Timscale, believe in making simulation accessible to everybody. Meshing was historically a difficult concept to understand, and many of our users and customers have struggled with it. With this update, we're taking the first step to fully automating meshing. You might notice that the mesh on the left-hand side has moved from beneath geometry into the individual simulation. This means that based on the analysis type chosen, SimScale decides automatic and default mesh settings by itself. This will then, of course, lead to fewer meshing errors. Previously, it was actually possible to create a mesh that was incompatible with the analysis type chosen. Now we can guarantee that that won't happen. In addition, a few additional features have been added, which will simplify and speed up both the simulation and meshing workflow. New meshes can now be created via the meshing panel, and mesh settings can be modified and imported between different mesh settings and geometries. The complete tree on the left hand side is now shorter and less complex. Mesh settings are recommended by default. Only simulation compatible meshes will be displayed. And we think this is a really nice step towards automation. For users who already have simulations on the SimScale platform, your meshes haven't vanished, they've just simply moved from higher up in the tree to within each individual simulation. So you can open up the simulation and see all of the mesh settings that were there previously, and also any other compatible mesh settings that suit your analysis type. 